full time at the den. It finished well quite a while ago actually. It did, didn't it? <laughs> it's all a bit dark here now. Yeah, they, they were fans here today. I promise. Yeah, um, there were. There was about fourteen thousand of them. Yeah, it was very good. Finished. Really good support today. Um, and it was Millwall one, Sheffield United nil. What's your thoughts on that, Alex? Well, what a difference four games makes. I mean, I've, do you know? I think you can include Fulham because I don't yeah, think Fulham no. was a bad performance either. But uh, fantastic. Um, dug in well. Um, look, I think the first half wasn't a classic, you could see that. Both teams looked a bit tepid, a bit tired. Um, both teams played Wednesday, didn't they? So, no, I think overall, I don't think they could be too disappointed. Yeah. Um, I mean, there was a bit of a disappointment when George Evans came on for Mason Bennett, but I look at that and I actually think that that was the right decision. Um, I think if you looked at it before the sub, uh, balls were getting through to both McBurney and to Sharp, that didn't happen. Um, as soon as Evans came on, um, I thought he did a good job. Um, overall, it's another win. It's yeah. four in a row. Um, not many of us thought that would be happening um, after that Fulham game. But no, look, you've got to take your hat off to Rauer. I think he's done it well. He's got his tactics spot on um, in the last four games. And again, look, it's f what is it, five points now yeah. off the playoffs? Yeah. It's a complete Back turnaround. It. It is, it, it's a complete and utter turnaround. Um, uh, and I thought, to be fair to a man today, they, they were very, very good. Two words, Tyler Bury. How good was he today? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, he, he's he's been a breath, an absolute breath of fresh air since he's come in. He runs at people. He tries to get the attacks. You know, he was fouled a couple of times first half. Um, although I think sometimes he didn't make too much contact. Um, but no, look, he's a bright young prospect. Uh, it's disappointing though. Again, the injury injury strike again. The wing comes, lose Hutch, lose Bennett. Don't know how long that's going to be for. Hopefully, it's not too long, and they're both fit enough hopefully to play some part at Reading next week but overall four wins in a row a gap down to five points I think we could dare to dream you know I reckon we can I reckon we can we could dare to it's, dream it's one that obviously on the podcast Omar Mickey will know that I, I go on about the playoffs a lot even when we're 12 13 points on the playoffs but you know I think it's, it's starting to come a little bit of like a bit, bit of a potentially we're in the playoff hunt now oh definitely um win again next week yeah we really are. Then really in it. Then we've got know? Luton. We beat Luton. Well, I think it's actually the team before Luton. If we beat, so if we get, we can have a good couple of games before Luton, then we, we are really in it. Oh, definitely, definitely in the running. I mean, if you look at the table, it's a four. Yeah, it's it's a gap. Yeah, it's a gap. But there's games to be had. Yeah. Points points will go off teams because teams have to play each other, so they'll take points off each other. And uh, you know, I think we could play. Sheffield United every week and just put Jake Cooper up front. Yeah, I reckon so. And yeah. I, think, I reckon that will win the game. But yeah, <laughs> fantastic win today. Three points and um, yeah, we're back next week at the at the, uh, what, the Stadium. The, no, the, no, the, the select leasing, car leasing, leasing stadium. Yeah. Get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Don't don't, don't ruin the, uh, the sponsorship mm -hmm. deal. Anyway, come on, you Lions.